Yo, what is up gamers? My name is Russ. Today coming at you with another video and uh, in this one hopefully I'm going to be sharing with uh, you and the whole of the Demon Hunter community uh, what I hope to be a very useful week or um, this should hopefully assist you in keeping up sinful brand much easier knowing when to uh, when you need to fish for cycler hatred procs and when your brand is kind of safe for staying up so you can get closer to that 100% uptime on sinful brand which we all strive to achieve right so I've made two versions of what is essentially the same week aura inspired by a couple other sinful brand tracking week auras that I found out there but I decided to make my own one um, so first I'm going to show you how it works and then I'm going to tell you how to download it how to get it um, and then how to configure it to how you might personally want it as I said there's a couple different versions um, some one version is made with icons and one with bars. I know some people like to track their week orders with different icons and some people like to have like bars that slide up and down. So I made two versions of it. They're the main themes, but then there's a couple other configuration tips that we can get into with colors and borders and glows and all that kind of stuff. So um, feel free to use it how you wish. They'll be linked in the description down below. And I'll also show you how to get them in the video, right? So first I'll show you how they work um there's two variations as i said uh this is the bar format which if when you import it, it's just going to spawn in the middle of your screen um i would suggest you drag this somewhere you know in line with your fury bar uh you can fiddle with the width if you go inside the actual bars in the week aura and mess around with the widths you can ma match them up to you know the width of your fury bar or whatever a lot of people who use these bar kind of week auras like to stack them on top of the fury bar and then build their other week auras around it. So I'll let you guys play around with it. You know, do as you will with it. Set it up exactly how you want. You can change all the colors of the bars if you need. Um, you can add things like sparks. Uh, you can add glows and whatnot. Just do, do whatever you want with it. It's your UI. And uh, you're going to play the best in the UI that you find most comfortable. Um, and the week aura, you know, in the way, set up in the way that's going to give you the information you need to know the easiest, right? So you guys do whatever you want with it. Personally, for me, I prefer to use um, icons uh, just because I find it a bit easier on my eyes. Um, I like to work with numbers and the icons show the exact numbers. You can turn numbers on on the bar version. If you go inside the bars, once again, scroll down to text one and you just want to show text and it will show all the text that the icon version throughout this video is going to be showing me. Right. So you can just turn these on in the text box. Uh, and it's all set up and done for you if you want to change the color bars of the colors maybe you want to change eye beam from green to purple you can do that too so play around with it as you will so i'm just going to put the bars over here in this video for now um but obviously i would recommend you put it in the middle of your screen maybe above your fury bar so this is how the week auras look um it's three bars stacked on top of each other or three icons stacked on top of each other they don't all show at once usually you'll have two of them showing um and basically the ready one just means that your sinful brand is ready and you have enough fury to follow it up with an eye beam and your eye beams off cooldown. So this ready one will only show when you have a sinful brand, which you can extend, uh, meaning that it's not just going to pop up like, yo, sinful brands off cooldown and then you just fire it and then you can't extend it because then you've wasted your sinful brand. You've put it on a 45 second cooldown and that's no bueno. So that's the ready one in both in both situations. Um, and then there's an actual tracker and this uh, next one here is going to be tracking um, the duration of your lowest sinful brand that's active on any target and this is only going to track your sinful brands it's not going to track the other demon hunter in your group sinful brands or anything like that just track yours personal to you uh, and the reason it tracks the lowest one is because um, well if you can catch your ibeam cooldown up to the lowest duration sinful brand and extend that one then naturally any higher um, any higher duration sinful brands in the vicinity or in your eye beam because you're going to try and eye beam all the mobs anyway um, those ones are just going to automatically get extended anyway right so you're kind of chasing the eye beam cooldown um, in line with your lowest duration sinful brand and finally the top uh, icon or bar is your eye beam cooldown so uh, how it's going to look once we're in combat is uh, we're going to be trying to get the top bar or icon to have a lower duration than our lowest sinful brand being the sinful brand underneath it right so what you're trying to do is make the gap between ibeam and sinful brand timers 
um, as big as possible. The longer the gap, the more globals you'll have to do other things like use up your unbound chaoses on fell rushes. Maybe you need to throw a chaos nova or a, or a fell eruption for a stun. Um, <clears throat> you might even want a death sweep in certain situations. So all of that would be great. Anything basically that isn't just generating fury with demon spite and spending it with chaos strike, right? So I know all that probably just sounded super complicated to me explaining it all. It's easier if I actually just show you how it works and then give you a couple of tips and, you know, real life uh, situations where I could probably use this. I'm going to have a blade dancing death sweeping video coming out in the next couple of days as well, um, telling you when you should and shouldn't use those abilities, if at all. So make sure that you subscribe, like the video and all that. Stay tuned for that one. Uh, but yeah, I'll first now show you how this week or looks in combat. And then you guys can decide if it's something that maybe piques your interest, right? So as I said, I've got something targeted now. This isn't going to show until I have enough fury to I-beam, right? So my sinful brand's ready. You'd think it would be like, yo, sinful brand's ready. I-beam's off cooldown. But it's actually going to make sure I have enough fury. So as soon as I've got enough fury, if I do my immolation or my blood elf, I, now it's saying ready. So now I know I can run in. Put my sinful brand up, I-beam. Now as you can see, here's the bar version on the left here. Um... And the icons here. I'm going to be looking for Chaos Strikes and cycle, therefore Cycle Hatred procs to get this I Beam one, the top uh, icon, lower than the Sinful Brand, right? So as you can see, I've already now managed to get it in line. Like I know that this brand is safe. And once my I Beam comes off cooldown, it's going to make that water droplet sound. You, again, you can go into the weaker and change the sound if you want no sound at all. Um, or if you want uh, a different sound whenever your I Beam becomes ready, just to remind you to I Beam as soon as it's ready because then you can start cooling it down again with cycle of hatred for the next extension right so here it's looking pretty dicey I'm gonna pray for a cycle but i did not get one so now it's gonna pop ready because it's got an i beam ready to follow it i'm gonna reapply the black reapply the brand and extend it once again so <clears throat> kind of gonna use on my amount chaos here and now i'm just chasing it's pretty dicey but now i got four seconds of uh a, a cushion in between these um and i know i'm absolutely safe and uh, I could even go AFK now for six seconds and I'll still be able to extend this brand, right? Because I've worked so hard at the start, but obviously I won't do that. I'll just want to I-beam as soon as I can to alleviate that that, that gap, right? Like uh, the, the earlier you get I-beaming, the easier it's going to be to maintain your brand on the next one. And if you consistently get lucky with Cycle of Hatreds, um, procs and refunds and stuff, uh, you're going to notice that you can actually push up a like a normal brand up to like 45 seconds if you're quite lucky even without meta so that's really cool so this one has been quite highly requested on my stream and stuff i've been using it the past uh, few days maybe a week or so um been slowly iterating it over time to a point where i'm happy with it and now i'm pretty happy with it i'm ready to release it to all you guys hopefully i'm doing a solid one for the dh community here i think this will help a lot of people so there you go enjoy it while you can guys um while we have to play vent there you might as well make it a slightly less painful experience whenever you can because dropping brands feels like uh i don't know a massive kick in the nuts right so hopefully this week where i will help you guys out um sadly it does not play the game for you it does not um do everything uh you also have to make some decisions on the fly regarding your ability usage uh there will be times when you know your I-beam and your sinful brand timers are really, really tight and close together. And you might even have to, you know, drop using an Unbound Chaos proc on a Fell Rush or something like that in order to maintain your brands. Um, stuff like Death Sweeping as well is a bit niche and situational depending on if you have the globals to spare. You'll hear a lot of people saying that maybe you can Death Sweep when um, your brands are safe. And that is now, you know, if your I-beam is lower cooldown or than your brand uptime, right? So hopefully this week or assists you in being able to um, much more easily see how close those timers are. And then you'll be allowed to make that decision. Can I use my globals on this? Or do I have to use my globals on Chaos Strikes right now? Um, that's the kind of thing I want to achieve with this week or. So hopefully you guys found it useful. Um, feel free to tell me what you thought about it in the comments. Tell me if you loved it, share it with your friends. Um, Send it to all the demon hunters. I'm going to become world famous off this. I just know it. Um, feel free to also stop by the stream. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash just Russ. It'll be linked in the description down below. And also it's probably floating above my head. 
as I said, I'll be bringing out a video in the next couple of days about blade dancing and death sweeping. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about this week or and also the, I'll show some examples of when it's okay to use those abilities and when it's not. So subscribe if you want to be notified and stuff when that comes out. Otherwise, I'll hopefully see you over on the stream or in the next video. Thank you to the patrons. Um, there'll be information down below on if you want to support this channel and help me keep doing what I'm doing. Um, and yeah, thank you to the patrons. The names will be on screen now. All right, guys, have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, peace.